Hello, this is Time Clickers, and um, I've been posting a bit on the subreddit about my automation script, so I figured I would show how it works. First, I'm pretty much out of uh, upgrades to do that's sensible. Um, most of them are above 1k cubes, so whatever. Um, pretty much ready for, <laughs> for the next update, but I figured I would do this. Do this video before before the next update. Doesn't actually say version. I wonder if I break the recording if I reload. Let's see what happens. So zero seven two. And we're in. So anyway, um my current statistics. Uh, I think the main main thing is uh, what is it? <laughs> oh, time cubes, 122k. Such a large number. I've, I I was looking for something lower. Yeah. Um. So that's a bit insane. I am on kind of resting now on level 152 or arena. And uh, yeah, um, so uh, I started making bots from the first of April. I started playing the twentieth of March, and my first bots were just like clicking in the in the middle, and then they started upgrading. Then they started resetting, time warping. So basically, you time warp to get your time cubes. If you play this, you know how it works. Whatever. Um, so let's time warp, and I'll boot up the the bot. So I just press a key, and there's a small delay because of the initial uh, resetting of the time warping. The flash actually, the the screen actually flashes then, so it's hard to to register when it's finished loading. Uh, but <laughs> this is the bot in action, uh, and it's it's a bit insane, but yeah. This is after a whole lot of iterations. Um, for the longest time, I didn't have any auto clicks at all. Uh, but then I realized that, like, m uh, more than half of the abilities uh, affect your click damage, and there's a whole lot of upgrades in the artifact section about the click damage as well. So I just added uh, a sweeping, a click sweep. Uh, Otherwise, it just it starts up, changes the multiplier for purchase to 25, and then clicks all the upgrades. And then it just sweeps, sweeps over the screen and clicks upgrade for a certain time. So that's that's the main thing after writing the bot is to trim it in to the optimal cycle time. And right now I'm at 162 seconds. Um, so we'll let it run until it warps again. <coughs> um, I'm kind of doing this video before the update because the next update will have uh, like damage multipliers at uh, 500, 600 upwards, which uh, right now doesn't exist. So if this had been later, I would have 1 million times the damage on my pulse pistol and at least a thousand times the damage on my all other weapons. Flak cannon is also above 600 now. So that would, that would like progression a whole lot easier. Uh, I also have a friend I, I got to play uh, maybe a week ago and is pushing Arena 80 right now. I figured I would do this video to show him when he reaches 100. <laughs> um, I think the the effective yield of time cubes. Um, I need to check on my other machine uh, because the, this bot practically takes over the entire desktop as it moves the mouse cursor. Uh, Let's see, so I take, I have 80% time cube find, which is how many will spawn. And there it restarted. 
I hope I got all the cubes. It actually takes a small screenshot of the rebooting dialog. So on my phone, I can check my Dropbox folder and I can check if it's still keeping the same rate. And it also logs the cycle time to a text file. Everything is date stamped. So it, it's, it's kind of nerdy, but I'm, I've been homesick for a while now. So I, <laughs> I, I kind of do this when I feel like not lying down. Uh, so I have 162 seconds, 64 per cycle. Uh, we want that an, at an hourly rate. That makes out to 1,422 cubes per hour. Uh, that's that's a bit better than my initial rate, which was like 200. Uh, and in the beginning, uh, I was looping from 51 to 100 or 120 or something. My cycle time was 15 minutes, so that was my f my first budding. Then my brother was reading or figured out that it's better to like uh, just cycle to 100 and go back because the 10 cubes that are guaranteed at uh, level 100 is such more much more beneficial than doing the random three times cubes from 105 and, five and up upwards. Um, but then they actually, Proton Studio updated the, the artifacts, so it became much much more a better scaling between starting money and, and uh, the starting level. So I uh, then it became quite easily possible to start from 91 and just cycle to 100. I got that, cy that cycle down to 45 seconds, um, but it was kind of boring, and it didn't feel like I could, I could improve it much more because the rate was limited by the respawn rate of the enemies. Um, so I scrapped that and moved on to s uh, starting out 101 and then going upwards. Uh, in the beginning, I was time warping at 120 because damage output was so low, so it, it, isn't, it, it wasn't beneficial to go further. And then I've just, the more cubes you get, the more damage you get, and the more artifacts you get, the more gold and damage and everything you get. So right now it, it loops to 140. Uh, I think the most important updates I got was uh, for looping, you definitely need starting money. Starting money is the, the, the biggest factor of starting out quick. It makes you instant kill everything, in the beginning at least. Then it's definitely the starting level, uh, because that's, that, that gives you much less to kill. And when you are in a cycle with many bosses, uh, you want to pull down the amount of uh, enemies per arena. Those are pretty expensive upgrades. Um, I think I spent a whole night of, of budding on cubes for just uh, just buying five extra percent in cube cube spawn rate. Uh, so that <laughs> that's what what you do afterwards uh, for the cycle behind 100 to be be as as good as possible. You need to have quite high spawn rate. I think I was very very happy with 80%, but then I pushed it to 100. And I, but I have 80% on the actual fine rate. Um, but I was also quite fine at 50 and 60% to start out with. The next update, I think, is like 60k cubes or something. I don't know. I can actually I can pause my script. Just finished the last cycle. And I can go in and see, yeah, 65,000 <laughs> to get a 90% find. Uh, let's start the script again. Um, so this is basically what my machine does now. Uh, it feels like I've reached a point of, you know, when when we can actually move forward. <coughs> I think my, let's pause this again. <laughs> One, so my maximum level, 162. Um, 
then it becomes, even with all these upgrades, I have 12,000 times the damage from cubes. Um, the achievements are pretty much filled in with the possible things. Um, even even then, at one, one about 160, I have to activate the abilities at all, all and for each enemy, pretty much. Which is kind of, uh, or well, you could light, let it grind, but uh, it it becomes super slow. Uh, one fun thing I realized at one point when doing my upgrades was that it's quick enough that the abilities never run out. Uh, and actually they save time <coughs> they they get the extra time after going going above their their maximum so you can see the ability buttons will now be all filled in and not not uh, drain anything after noticing that i actually put a lot of points in the ability upgrades at least uh, i i quickly maximized the extra gold ability and the team damage um it wasn't until i actually added the, the click cycle that I upgraded both the click abilities and the click click uh, artifact tree. <coughs> actually, the most valuable expensive upgrade was probably the click damage. Something interesting is that all these multipliers are well, multipliers. Uh, so this one actually increases the, the final damage um, the damage that's, well, one of those anyway, they actually doubled with this 10k upgrade. And the same for uh, weapon damage. Um, I try to balance these out for cost. So if these five, these five now cost 512 cubes, which is a bit below this one. But usually one, one of these levels give as much damage as all these combined because this is 20% and these are 20% each of the total team damage. Not really, but it's easy to think that way anyway. Uh, and I kind of lost my thread. Yeah, valuable upgrades. Uh, <laughs> I only have click multiplier on the spread rifle because oh yeah, I put some in the if I randomly click, I don't, I don't know how that works for the flak cannon because it switches targets so quickly. But for the spread rifle, it's, it clicks on so many and it's a fixed target. So when doing manual progression, it's quite easy to just click the ones that are red. And we can see it still has abilities running. And I, I don't think they have actually used the cooldown yet. Oh, they have cooldown in 55 minutes, yeah. They do that when I'm going to 140. Uh, let's activate the script and see if it, yeah, it restarts. Did I actually get the cubes? I don't know. Oh, whatever. No, but I think that's it. Um, uh <laughs> well, I, I found this game very interesting. I actually played Time Rifters before this, so I, I came from the other way around than, than going from these Time Rifters. Um, it's the most insane progression I've ever seen in a game when it comes to money intake and DPS and everything. Uh, the amounts of zeros that the D represents, I don't even know how many there are, but it's quite insane. I think the first playthrough was very interesting because uh, the scaling of damage just felt surreal. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and I was quite shocked like the first time the time warp button was enabled, and I was like, am I supposed to restart? This It took me like a day or a day or a half to reach 100 the first time, <laughs> and I thought that, that they're insane. Am I supposed to restart this several times? But then uh, finally, after not getting that many cubes and only reaching like 115 or 120 by a lot of grinding, I restarted because I would get double the damage. And of course, that snowballed into realizing that I would need a whole lot of time cubes to get further. And as we, me and my brother were going for achievements, uh, the first boss achievement is 
finishing level 200. So that's kind of still my goal, but I think that's a bit unrealistic before the next update with the new damage multipliers. <laughs> but yeah, after after realizing that would be requiring a whole ton of time cubes, the botting began, the automation race. Um, so yeah, uh, if the progression had like continued like before, I would probably just have played the game normally. Uh, <laughs> I know my first expectation was that, oh, after my first time warp, I will probably make it to 200, and now I will time warp and make it to 300. That was my expected progression, uh, but alas, that was not the case. <laughs> well, um, I've been talking a whole lot. Uh, I hope some of it have been interesting. And now I really need to let my throat rest <coughs> because I'm still sick. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that was interesting. Um, talk to you later. Bye bye.